All right, so I'm back and I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens when you paint your floor so you can see the difference um, between what happens. So painting, um, basically for those of you that have not used it, um, you take a floor. So this is one large floor. This is all three inch lightweight concrete on metal deck and you use the split face tool. So if you go to modify, you can go to split face and it'll allow you to split a face and draw a line, right? And then it will split that face in two and then you can paint it. So if you come in and um, go to paint after that, you can pick whatever you want. So I could pick, not earth, that's a little strange, but um, maybe copper right and I can paint that copper and you'll see that copper show up as a material name on my floor material takeoff okay so I'm gonna undo that so that's what I've done is I've gone in and I've split this guy um, this floor into various pieces so if you look at a section of it it's completely flat right there are no other floors in here so you just have to be really careful and aware of when you're doing this because if you look at the floor schedule you only see the lightweight concrete with metal deck you will not get the material divide up if you were doing it the way we were talking about previously which is to have the subfloor and then finished floors on top of it in the material takeoff right you are still getting <coughs> the same information that you're getting from the floor schedule here but it's just repeating itself multiple times and then it's saying that every one of those has a separate material metal deck right um, there's the metal deck lightweight concrete with the 1024 and then here's the wood flooring the tile and the laminate um, you still run into the same issue here where if you have some exposed concrete floor that you need to get a calculation on, you're going to have to lay down a non-dimensional floor there with a name on it to get that um, to get that square footage for you. So that's always going to be a little bit of an issue. So we talked a little bit about a couple of the um, issues with this. One is that you by default you cannot tag areas with material tags so you can't get a area readout if you wanted to get that on your floors uh, areas um, the other one is that you just have to be very aware um, about the um, the splitting face in the painting because it is not truly parametric in that you have now divided this one floor up into multiple different material types on the top and even though it's reading out as in the material takeoff the floor is still telling you that the whole thing is three inch lightweight on concrete and if you're not real clear in your office or where you're working about how you're doing this then there can be a great deal of confusion based on how you schedule things um, so that's just really important to be aware of the other thing is that you don't get any variation or understanding of what these floors are made of is in terms of height and how they relate to each other so you know it's just up to you based on how you're working so in this particular view right these are just material tags that are calling out these materials we don't really need that one um, so and then over here where the overall um, lightweight concrete on metal deck is exposed I have two tags um, of course, if I go in and, and create similar, it's going to tell me this. Um, oh, sorry. If I go in here and create similar, no matter where I am on this, it's going to tell me that that's a three inch lightweight concrete on metal deck, regardless of the floor split and paint that's on it. Um, so either, you know, either way is a viable way of doing it. Pro the first way that I showed is, is more, um, parametric and probably more applicable to um, interior design um, so I'll again I'll post um, these files up on the canvas and you can access them um, anyway that's it I will um, talk to you later all right